Hello and welcome to this massive over 40 minutes long um, video on blues in A, which has left hands, licks, uh, combination of licks, um, all sorts of stuff, ending, and uh, it's uh, really good for musicians who want to play in A, which is very often used by guitarists uh, besides E. On E there is a video already. One more important thing. You can do a little bit of politics on my channel by indicating with liking a video, for example this one, that you like it, that I also treat a little bit special stuff like treating A or D or F and uh, uh, keeping the channel diverse and not becoming a channel that is only doing um, uh, Johnny Johnson transcriptions and Dr. John Lakes and favorite songs but you can influence me you can hold me like a dog and say eh, i want you there eh, i want you there eh, do e do e okay i do e you have a vote use it bye bye now let's get an enjoy a so you have a, a brilliant solo on your next gig in a let's get going let's learn bye from berlin Goody. Let's get straight to work. It's all about A. <coughs> blues in A. Let's start uh, with the uh, general difficulty of blues in A. We will see that um, in, in the left hand and in the right hand. That is, if you see C for example, C major, we have the slide here and that is really important in blues of the minor third to the major blues. And you can do nice things like this quite easily. You see? Now, in A, we have um, the minor third to the um, uh, major third is going up. And that is much harder to play these nice licks because you have to do it with a slide with two fingers and you have to go up, for example, here with the fifth finger to the further far away note of F sharp. So that is in the right hand, we're coming to that later. In the left hand, we have the thing like, for example, if we play left hand, we all, well, we are used to going. Well, I do a lot of it uh, with the, this minor to major third with the same finger, so that I have more fingers left for here. Some do this, whatever you feel fine. It's a different feeling here. So that up front for the uh, uh, difficulty in A. Um, so let's first start to give you a handful of uh, left hand, uh, uh, left hand accompaniments, and we, uh, I will always show you briefly. You can either use the uh, YouTube slow down button um, if you want to slow down, um, and uh, I will just show it to you and not go through all twelve bars with each. It's not necessary. There's, it's, this is about um, um, to get stuff to you, not to get a loose form to you every time. Okay, so the A, um, it's the simplest is of course this one. Simple doesn't mean bad in this case, because um, it's done by all greats, this one also. You can say on, oh, see also on the green um, uh, lights on the green keys, that is just two notes at one time. It's a dominant on E and D and A. As usual, um, don't forget about the fifth. Sometimes people get sloppy and they do. Yeah, think about this one, every note, the fifth finger, okay? Um, now let's go to another single uh, single line. It would be um, again a little bit slower for you. On the subdominant, it is. On the dominant. And 
that's that. Then we have a, a little bit harder one would be this one. Uh, it's this one. It starts on the one with the uh, major third here. We can also play it here. Okay, slower. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. On the D, it's D chord is here, so it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And on the dominant, it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then we have a we take a, a New Orleans um, or maybe one single line as to show you it's because I like it it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and same goes here on D again we're going up for the minor to major third one and two and three and four and one and two and three four then we have an E dominant one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and um, you can play all those uh, left hands uh, also straight instead of dotted uh, you know you can play this one also play straight instead of so it all serves both kinds of rhythm um, if you want to pretend a walking bass, I always uh, recommend this one. That's in D. It's just basically the major chord dissolved with the thumb as the rhythmic axis. Then on the five. Okay, so then we have uh, hold on. This, uh, this is very popular and can help with many pieces. Again, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then we have the subdominant one and two. Three and four and one and two and three and four and dominant one and it's just the major chords no secret here one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one okay now we have a little bit of straight New Orleans it would be um, just watch the left hand it's basically now F, uh, the same just in straight, but it's great. D. Then an E. Then we have a typical New Orleans is um, you can play this either with the octave or just with this one one and two and three and four and one and two and three easy peasy lemon squeezy it's just the chord structure again like D is just the same. 
either with octave one and two and three and four and one. The last is in another New Orleans. It's uh, uh, one and two, well, uh, one and two, two, two. Was the first one I got to know. I learned uh, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and. Four. Okay, I missed one, an easy one that is also effective for slow blues, and I love it. It's simple, it's good in this case. It's just the one. You see, it's lovely for this kind. Lovely for all levels, really. Not it's not just that the, the, that the good ones play all the all the complicated stuff. It's that the good ones are good enough that they that they know when the simple ones are better. That's a good musician to to see um, when the simple ones serve the music better and not just get the fingers faster and more complicated. That's youthful. Uh, useful uh, false ambition okay now let's see what we can do for the right hand first i'll show you the uh, both scales it's the a minor blues scale that is actually really nice in the hand on a because it follows the structure of the hand yeah one dum 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 you see really nice in the hand if you go on you aren't upset the first one here and this can be played down quite fast even for the medium or well it's it's just good in the hand lots of nice stuff in this little slope here okay so, uh, and uh, the major blue scale is then, of course, uh, it's this one. It's the, as usual, it's the one, the two, the minor third, the one, then we have the five and the six okay just like in C one two minor third da, 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 da. so you have this you, you skip the four so we have the Because this is harder and the minor blue scale in A is much easier as I said like from here and this one is you would have to take and then I don't even have a fixed one here I think no I don't even have a fixed finger setting here for the major blue scale I think I most of the time then play the minor blue scale or the licks uh, or I just improvise the finger setting. Okay, now let's see for the major elements of, um, of all blues. 
Um, the major elements of all blues solos are just a handful and we go through them right here. So it's, e it's uh, the drone lick is always central. Like... You know already the sound, you can tell it's everywhere. Or, or down, up... Yeah. So the drone lick is, we have the drone here that is called drone because it's hitting together with every note of the blue scale that is going um, up from here with the other fingers like of course there's also a drone lick you can also include the major third depending on the song you're playing and the sound it has if it has a major um, third sound you never know until you play you can take up to even those notes here's the major drone lick you can even take the flat five into the drone See how, how familiar this sound is for you. And then of course very often it's the minor along the minor blue scale together with the drone. The drone can also be the seven like here. Same thing just with the seven. And to give you just a small number of figures. And this you can play through all the um, the tonic, the subdominant, and the dominant. Listen. So if you just want to get a gig ready with A, you just play the A minor drone lick, and it fits over all um, uh, steps, over all uh, the subdominant, dominant, and tonic. That makes it a really good universal soldier. Take the seven, both is fine. And a bit of scale. Okay, so that's the drone lick, and just play a little bit of drums on it. It's very easy. And master this one, and you will be the king on the stage. It's uh, like the upward slide from the uh, from the D to the E flat, because that makes a really bluesy sound. See, and of course the slide here. If you manage those, and this one, or up, or this one down. Can tell. And here again. And you're done. Good. Now what else is there? Then we have uh, for the um, for the blues we have always and uh, always there. And that is a so-called sixth lick. I call it. I give them names. So that is uh, gonna call everybody names, but. This one, so that we have a, a shortcut to name them. So it's watch and report. And up. A little bit of example. Um, so, 
um, then I would suggest, yeah, now we go to the another uh, central lick and that's the one that is hard to play. That's like, it's much harder than in G or in C, uh, as I explained in the beginning. Slide this with two fingers, and this I find particularly hard, and then tie them. In, in, in C we could tie with the fourth finger. We could tie and we just have the neighboring fifth finger here. And here, this is I find quite hard, so we have to play like this. And we cannot tie this, because we need the fifth finger go up there. So, might, you might want to practice that a little bit. And then we take the last of the, the third of the thirds together. We have A, we have this one which we just played, and then we have third one which we can always use in combination these three thirds. You see? Down also. Now, if we use this th uh, lick on the subdominant and the dominant, there's happening something which you know already from other keys. When we go from A, and we want to keep this on D, we have to take care D7 doesn't have this note, it's a clashing note, but it works like this. So, we're coming to D, and now, you see, then it works. Just have to replace this with this one. Okay. Then um, you can, as usual, I strongly recommend uh, to to just practice these central legs and learn to combine them. And you you manage seventy five percent of all world class solos um, by the content, not by the speed, because it's always very much. was just the third lick and the drone lick. And if I add scale, scale, this is uh, perfect piano, perfect blues solo. Master the central elements <clears throat> and you can already master them really that you can connect them and you're, and you're fine, you're absolutely fine. Now, a bit old-fashioned blues is also the third lick in the beginning. It's, I call it the third run, <coughs> as opposed to the third lick. The third run, this goes like... And it's... <coughs> I'll show it here. Bup. 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 Bum. Nice also, huh? So this is just your um the let's say the other side of the sixth lick. Wouldn't you guess they're the same notes? If we take the sixth for example, take this one up, we have the third here. And then it's basically an inversion of the sixth lick. And both is pop popular in blues, so Learn those also, it's very melodious. And and then we just add this to it. And this you can do on D. Once again. Also go it down. Watch at my finger setting. Or take your own. It has to be tied to sound nice. 
it's just not as nice as you see then if you want to um, do some um, uh, some noise in the on the climax of your solo if you're planning to play solo and in your band and impress the um, drummer who is a very sexy beautiful woman uh, which rarely happens I can tell you it's mostly an ugly guy um, so you have uh, you can always like this is the easiest bit in A actually and uh, since I told you already the last time the run this magic run going down fast I can show it to you here also how was it? I have to practice, sorry. Um, which one did we take? Um, we take this one for A, that's nice. So, um, you see? I do it in slow motion. start from the beginning it's again one of those magic runs that demand um, just practicing once and it's really nice in the hand even in A you see like it goes down tying note and then yeah that's a bit as I say A is not my favorite and um, it's not nobody's pianist's favorite because of this stupid F sharp is always so high for our small finger. Okay, again. Dab, 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 and that's it. And then you repeat. And, and you can create some nice effect. It's one of those runs, I showed you one recently. It was a different one. There are a couple of them, okay? You can add this to, do, to put some noise on top. Uh, you want to see that for the more advanced. Um, so you can always do since this is so nice in the right hand, and if you're a bit uh, slightly advanced, you this little slope. Um, if you leave your hands here, really relax. Give this some some dope. Um, I wonder what I was about to say. Some wood knocking here. This gets attention. And the rest falls out of the package uh, just by gravity. And and you have something also to um, for the um, talent scout who's in the audience. Okay, and then you could have, for example, like. And then and then and the trills you always here. I can do this for hours if I like. The wrist is loose and it's just little ants crawling over the keys. Don't get too far down or your muscle will contract and stop the whole fun. Okay. So, what else could we do? Okay, the rest I will show you in a practical examples <clears throat> that is for some much more useful to have it all in a line because not all of you can put phrases together from uh, from your licks especially if you have not followed my channel carefully because that's what I taught you and there are some things left I will show you I would play very slowly and then interrupt um, if there's something new you don't know and I will show it okay First of all, we start with the beginning of, the, of a lick is always uh, beginning of a solo. If you should play a solo, 
is a trill that gives you time and it puts up tension. Between the fifth and the minor seventh, it's always good. And I sometimes take this one because it sounds a bit more organic, even. And let it swell, let it unswell, and let it swell. And this is also new. It is very important. It's not shiny like, but it's it's really a cliche that makes the sound. It's uh, this um, little figure. And you can dissolve it. Now. A and seven. And it sounds very nice. If you if you stand by and just move to the D7 with the notes, some notes are already on D, and the rest you move, it sounds nice. We're coming from here and to D. Can you hear? It's, a, it's very musical. It's not spectacular, but it's really good music. This is the little road from the uh, flat five, always nice. And I'll show you uh, one of the most favorite licks. It's this little slope combined with this, you know already. You can play this anytime, but if you combine them, it's magic. And then, of course, we have the cliche ending, which is always nice. I hope. <laughs> Again, the ending. Next, we just solve the sixth lick. Remember? Show you this. Should give you inspiration to do something with it. You can do this with a D also. It's a drone leg, remember? phrase from the subdominant to the tonica tonic let's have it again and D A nice uh, element is the augmented five here instead of the regular five. Okay. Typical old blues sound, it's lovely. Then, this also you don't know yet. You go from the fifth to the sixth, and then you have our third lick. You see, that's the hard bit. that it's just the thirds that going chromatically down and I just octave the upper note that's very very common to just octave the upper voice and it makes it sound more I don't know shiny and a little run one yeah 
for all, what was it? Ah no, we did this other run. Um, like... Oh, we showed you, I showed you this before. Then, typically for blues, you can play all this. I play it slow, but it's not just slow blues, it's just slow to show you. All of this you can play fast also. And then we have... That's a very, very bluesy sound. And you repeat fast the target note. You wanna know what that was? Circling the major third, always great. Circling the major third with the poo two notes around it. That's the easiest way to remember. This one runs down. This one hits the two. Two and three and four and. And it's nice. Practice this one. It's not easy, but you have my tutorials. Nice between the E and the A. Nice trill. Scale, drone lick. Nice, huh? See, we're mixing here major blue scale with the major six and the minor blue scale. They're friends, these scales. Just needs a little bit of sensitivity to mix them. And then again, our lovely lick here. And then I'll show you something that is good to sound crisp and professional. <laughs> okay, it's on, on A. Now it's in May, it's a major blues, so. Imagine we are in a major sound, and then you. It's. it's a bit easier actually in fast, because then this is just as one and one note. Don't count it. It's just with an like a like a note with an embellishment. Diddle it up, diddle up, diddle it up, diddle up, and make some sunshine. You can take basically a lot of notes, but I show you. So this one, or, or if you have a major, minor blues, you have. A, it's fantastic. It's a little toy. You just have to practice this. You can practice this in the underground also. Like diddle loop, diddle loop, diddle loop, diddle loop. Takes be very uh, relaxed here in the in the in the wrist, and then here also. and fast it's just the same it's just great then if you, if you play this for example it's a classic thing for blues and then make sure that you're emphasizing it as uh, as triplets it just doesn't sound nice if you just played robotic all the same you take this one every third note but it, it's uh, I played I think very often like this you knew all these elements. So I think you have a, a couple of uh, uh, possibilities now and I will show you two possibilities for the end also. And uh, that would be like you have the A and then of course it's first the classical, the most well-known cliche. Repeat this and learn. Um, learn the finger setting. That's very important here. 
I don't show it right now. And then you decide either you go on the five to go to the next chorus or you play and you play nice uh, you go to the final either um, but you play the A7 or as is very common play like you go from B flat to A7 and if you want to have it really nice you do it like this this is the B flat 7 with the major 6 on top and the 9 here, the 9. Sounds very sophisticated and great. And, then, and uh, another ending then would be, uh, and then we have it for today. It's like the basic figure down here is wa ba 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 again. Uh, wa ba, oh, sorry, wa da 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 da. To practice that before one and two and three and four and one and two and three and to do something here that's nice the easiest way to do something here is if you have a, an absolutely uncreative day just like this and get this one right or you if you uh, better already then the best thing is of course you do either the blue scale not like me like stupid me but uh, was just the blue scale up possibilities you can do anything here like tell me um, or okay so I think we have plenty of stuff huh, here and you just pick whatever you like Thanks for learning with me. I hope you love A. Um, it's not my favorite, I must say, because just of those thirds, but with guitarists, you play a lot of A, D and E. So it's good to have it. It's, it's a good, um, good uh, thing to have in your toy box, no toolbox, as a craft you know, to accompany whoever comes along with any song in whatever key. Thanks from Berlin. Bye bye. Take care. Have a nice evening. I hope you liked my video and that you learned something. Now you can subscribe. Just press this subscribe button or click on another of my videos on this side. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.